Hey everybody, video here for you today. This is going to be a quick one, working on some longer ones. Wasn't going to do one today, but then I thought, why not? I've uploaded a video every day this month, so why not keep the streak alive? We are going down to Jurof today. Here is Jurof. I think these finds were made along this river that comes right down here, right in this area down here. And this got pretty fascinating the more I looked. Here is Jurof today, and right down here, there were some finds made over the last decade or two, and a story just came out a few days ago. But there's a really interesting artifact, a set of artifacts that comes out of this area that dates back about 5,000 years almost. I'm going to talk about them. Here's a story that just came out. Jurof, a magnificent cradle, a civilization. Here's a look at an artifact found here. Dating to this goes back to the 3rd millennium B.C., it says the discovery of the magnificent Jirov site came by accident in the very early 21st century when rounds of heavy flooding along the Halil River swept the topsoil of thousands of previously unknown tombs and led to the discovery of many artifacts believed by archaeologists to belong to the early Bronze Age or the late 3rd millennium BC. And that is a look at one of them right there. The data demonstrates that Jirov's heyday was from 2500 BC to 2200 BC. Astonishingly, the chlorite vases found in Jirov were not unfamiliar object for archaeologists. Chlorite vessels similar to the stunning examples unearthed at Jirov have been found from the Euphrates to the Indus as far north as Amudara to the far south Tarut Islands on the Persian Gulf Coast in Saudi Arabia. I will leave a few websites below. Here are some artifacts coming from ancient Jirov. Here are some game pieces, maybe coming from 4,000 years ago. Here's a falcon, beautifully carved falcon, coming from this ancient city here. Here's a possible candle holder coming from Jirov. A Jirov figure on a horseback. Is that what that depicts? Well, that's what they say. Here are some lamps, oil lamps, and some pots. Here is the local script on a tablet. Here's another website I will leave below, but I've read quite a few of them. I guess there were some ancient mounds or tells here that the dating went back like 6,500 years, 6,500 years ago. Here's some other looks. One on the left there is a statue carved right into the rock there. Some other looks on the right there. Those are some looks of some very ancient tombs in the area. Here are some more artifacts. When I was looking at this, the falcon, of course. I've talked a lot about the falcon from Egypt and Cahokia and other ancient sites. The one that really caught my eye was the one in the upper right there, the handbag. Let's look at a few of those. Here are some other chloride vessels. And then these handbags popped up all over the place, intricately designed. And of course, I'm thinking about the handbags that we see from the ancient Sumerian art and possibly Gobekli Tepe. The Olmecs had the handbags. There was other places I've talked about, one in Ethiopia and a few others. Are these depictions of these handbags that have just come down through time? That's what I really wonder about, especially since some of these places in the local area go way back in time. We'll take a look at a few of these artifacts, maybe from four or 5,000 years ago. But did this idea of this symbol here, or whatever this is, come down through time? A lot of people call these handbags just because that's what they look like. Here's another look at one of these objects coming from the area. These are called stone weights. Some people call these handbag stone weights. I've been doing a little reading, not much, but the only thing I could really find is some people think these were stone weights used to crush grain. But if they were, if they had such a simple function, would they put such cool decorative symbolism on them? Well, I'm not really sure. Here's another one that was found in the area. And this one seems to have lost its decorative symbolism here. Here is another one. Are these simple things used for crushing grain? Are they funerary items? Are they symbolic things based on something coming from way in the past? Celestial scenes? There's a lot of possible answers here, I guess. 
some symbolism on it. The horns you can clearly see there. Mm, handbag, stone weight. Leave your comments below. Here is another look. Can you get an idea why these are called stone weights? But they're shaped like the handbags of history and they have deep symbolism on them, some of these. I don't think the true meaning of this is exactly known. Here's another one coming from this area. These go back maybe four or 5,000 years. There are, there are older settlements in the nearby area. Are these connected to something deeper in the past? Are these stone weights used for agriculture? It's all a good mystery, but the connection and the looks and the similarity of these to things we talk about from the Sumerians and the Olmecs and what is depicted at Gobekli Tepe, I thought it was too interesting not to talk about, but there is a bunch of them found in the area. Symbolism on these, when they put ornate symbolism on pragmatic objects that were just used for crushing grain. Interesting thing to think about. That is certainly a place I have not talked about. This is the Halil River, and this is where those discoveries were made. Jiroft is right upstream here. That is video coming from Iran. Jumping around the world here, talking about all sorts of stuff these days. Those handbags, as we call them, they look like handbags, but are they stone weights? That is a term for them. Are they funerary objects and say were found in and around tombs? Do they have a deeper meaning to some symbolic thing from the past? It's all a mystery. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very safe day.